Hello, this is an automate how-to by Proval Technologies. I am Keegan Carter, an automation engineer with Proval, and today I'll be walking you through some computer-specific overrides within the patch manager. The reason you might want to start looking into using these versus building uh, specific groups or patch groups is it allows you to have a single system and maintain a cleaner patch manager. The biggest use case that we see for this is when you've already built patch groups that might work for multiple clients, but within a client you have multiple servers, maybe three of them are completely fine, and you might have a DC that's running a line of business app, or maybe temperamental when it reboots, and what you're going to want to do is not have to build a separate EDF system or assign it manually into a group because that could easily be lost or confused. In that case, it's going to be way easier to come into the patch manager, come over to your devices view, and select that system out of the list. Once you've done that and it starts loading up here, we'll get the groups option going. And you can see that it's falling into this approval servers group with weekend patching and server reboot during plus 30. But I've gone down and set this local override to suppress reboot and let's say theoretically I have a line of business app that doesn't need a, uh, an update for Internet Explorer installed. I can easily assign a approval policy to do that or a specific reboot policy or even if there is a different update time that you want applied to just this one system. Let's say it needs to reboot early morning to avoid a night shift uh, issue. You can do that as well. And all of these, once applied on this local override down at the bottom, are going to be the last thing that applies, and they're going to override any other settings that potentially show up in other patch groups. The biggest use case, as I said, is anytime you have a one-off system, um, you don't want to be doing this for more than probably five or so systems at a client. It starts becoming a situation where you have uh, a lot of things to track if uh, if you only have a one-off, though, definitely recommended. This has been a ProVal Technologies how-to on Automate, and thank you for watching.